and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that a toy is in the form of a hemisphere surmounted by a right circular cone of the same base radius as that of the hemisphere. If the radius of the base of the cone is 21 centimeters and its volume is 2 by 3 of the volume of the hemisphere, calculate height of the cone and surface area of the toy and use pi is equal to 22 by 7. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And the first is, volume of the hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube, where r is the radius of the hemisphere. Secondly, curved surface area of the hemisphere is equal to 2 pi r square, where r is the radius of the hemisphere. Thirdly, volume of the cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h, where r is the radius of the cone and h is the height of the cone. And the curved surface area of the cone is equal to pi r l, where l is the slant height of the cone, which is also given by square root of r square plus h square, where r is the radius and h is the height of the cone. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now it is given that a toy is in the form of the hemisphere surmounted by a right circular cone of the same base radius as that of the hemisphere. And the radius of the base of the cone is 21 centimeters. So it is given that the radius of the base of the cone is equal to radius of the hemisphere and these are equal to 21 centimeters. That is R is equal to 21 centimeters. Also it is given that the volume of the cone is equal to 2 by 3 the volume of the hemisphere. Now this is the formula for the volume of the hemisphere and this is the formula for the volume of cone. Now given volume of the cone is equal to 2 by 3 into volume of the hemisphere. Now by the formula, volume of the cone is 1 by 3 by r square h is equal to 2 by 3 into volume of the hemisphere is 2 by 3 by r cube. On solving, this implies h is equal to 2 into 2 by 3 into r. Now radius here is 21 centimeters, so putting this value here, this implies h is equal to 2 into 2 by 3 into 21 centimeters. Further, this implies h is equal to, now here, 3 into 7 is 21, so on solving this is equal to 28 centimeters. Now to find out the slant height, of the cone, we will use this formula. So now, slant height L is equal to square root of R square plus H square. Now putting the values of R and H here, here R is 21 centimeters and H is 28 centimeters. So this will be equal to square root of 21 square plus 28 square 
which is further equal to square root of 441 plus 784, which is equal to square root of 1225, which is equal to 35 centimeters. Now we have to find out the surface area of the toy. Now, the surface area of the toy will be equal to curved surface area of the cone plus curved surface area of hemisphere. Now this is the curved surface area of hemisphere and this is the curved surface area of the cone. So putting these values here, this will be equal to pi r l plus 2 pi r square which is further equal to uh, taking pi r common within brackets it will be l plus 2 r. Now putting the values of l and r here, this will be equal to pi which is 22 by 7 into 21 into l that is 35 plus 2 into r that is 21. Now this is equal to, now 7 into 3 is 21. So it will be 22 into 3 into now this is 35 plus 2 into 21 is 42 which is equal to 22 into 3 into 77 which is further equal to 5082 centimeter square. Therefore height of the cone that is h is equal to 28 centimeters and surface area of the toy is equal to 5082 centimeters square. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.